Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be opening up some dollar strip packs I get from Christmas and a check lane, not check lane booster, um, a mini binder oof, of um, Lost Thunder. So yeah, definitely want to save that for last. I think that would be the best way. I don't know. Maybe we'll start with it. I really don't know what to start with. I'm going to open it anyways. Get the stuff out of it. And we'll go from there. So yeah, Lost Thunder. This is a really great set. It's got Lugia, Zero Aura on the cover here, Blacephalon, and Celebi. Which is really cool. I like these mini binders. They got a few pages to, you know, store your cards in. I guess if you really want to, you could put cards in here. I'll put it out to the side. And last video, I meant to give this away. It's a Steam Siege code. Because I got that ultra rare Gardevoir. So I, every time I get a pull, I give away a code to you guys, no matter what set it is. If it's old, new, or whatever, I give it away. The Ultra Packs don't have codes. This has a code, so if I do get an Ultra Rare or Hollow in that pack, I will be giving the Lost Center code away. Which kind of sucks, because I want to keep Lost Center codes, because I don't have much of it. It's like only my third pack, so yeah, I'm really excited. So anyways, here's some Dollar Strip Packs. I don't even know how many are here. we got One Inch Origins. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16. Wow. So, one Ancient Origins with, what's his name? Tyranitar. We got five Lunalas, which is great. One type of Coco. Three, I wanted to say four. Three Zygarde's. One Celebi, not Celebi, that's Jirachi. Jirachi. We got one Blaziken there. Two Rayquaza and two Zara Aura from Lost Thunder. So yeah, guess we'll start it off with this Ancient Origins. We'll see what we get. I mean, dollar packs are dollar packs, but you can still get pulls out of them. And there still is a pack track, even though there's only three cards. So you do one to the front, and then call it good. So here we go. We got Porygon two, Oddish. Ooh, a Metagross rare. A rare out of the first pack. That's actually really nice. Here we go with a Lunella pack. I've had good luck with Lunella packs in the past. I feel like they give me quite a few pulls. Um, usually, anyways. So we got one to the front here. Let's see what we get. We got a Crushing Hammer. We got a Diglett. And we got a Chinchow. Not bad, not bad. Dollar packs are super fun to open. You just like shred through them. And yeah, it's just super fun. So we can do that. One to the front. We got Corsola. We got four Mantis. Ooh, and we got an Eevee. Eevee is a really nice card. I'm going to put that out to the side because I love Eevee. So anyways, we got another pack here. I usually have good luck with the Nella pack, so we'll see if we get a pull out of them. So far, we haven't. We only got this one plus two more. Psychic Energy. We got a Caterpie. Ooh, a Reverse Metapod. That is probably new for me. So that's actually pretty nice. Not a bad thing. In Dolster Packs, you're not guaranteed anything. So even getting a reverse is kind of like a treat, to be honest. It's kind of like, wow, I got a reverse kind of thing. But normally we think of reverses as trash, unless they're rare. But even then, reverses are really good. Water energy. Sucks when you get water or any energy in a pack. But hey, not bad, though, because I do like water energy. And get the secret in the background. Ooh, a rare cloister. So this is a rare. I think I have this, but still, it's a rare for a dollar. That's pretty good. And here we go with another well, last of the Lunella packs, and there was five of them. So that was the majority of what I had for Dollar packs. So we'll see what we get here. We got a Brion, we got a Carvana, and a Cosmog. Not bad. All right, we got Garden Resin. I have got an Ultra at Dollar packs and Hollows. Uh, definitely, when you get an Ultra, it's a good. It's a really good feeling because you're like, oh my god, I got an Ultra, and I actually pulled that secret rare ultra necrozma out of a forbidden light pack so yeah really cool okay we got a hala that's nice card actually i put it off to the side we got snow run and we got a turnator so we did get a rare that's a nice card i do like turnator all right we got a zygar pack here shout out pmc pokemon child if you guys don't know him go follow him give him a subscribe or just subscribe to him i guess um, yeah, he's really cool. Okay, we got a Judge. That might be new for me. Really nice. We got an Inke, and we got a Fennekin. So, Judge is a really good, really good trainer. 
Um, each player shuffles their hands, then draws four cards. So if one person, let's say your opponent, let's say he has way more cards than you. So what you do is you're like, hey, here we go with Judge. And wait a minute, we just pulled another Judge. Awesome, I love Judge now. We got Judge, a rock rough, oh, and a Lysander Prism. Wow. I do have this card. I do have it, but very, very nice trainer. Um, it says if each of your fire Pokemon in play, like for each of them, like you count them, let's say have like, I don't know, five in play. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Um, depends on how many you have. Like you might just have two in play. Uh, for each one, put one of your opponent's discard pile into the lost zone. So let's say um, you have four active fire Pokemon. That means you can put four of their cards in the discard pile, so, I mean, Lost Zone, so they can never get it back. Because discard pile, you can get things back. Lost Zone, nothing comes back, so that is a nice card. And we got two Judges, like, Judges are a really cool card. And I don't think I had any, so getting two today, that's going to help my collection a lot. And I might be able to make a deck with it now. So, yeah, shout out PMC, his packs were good. Gave me two Judges, and the first really good pull out of the Dollister packs. And there's still one more. This is the last one, so we'll see. One to the front. And we got a Gabite. We got a Gibble. Ooh, Mysterious Treasure Reverse. That is not bad. And it's funny how we got a Gabite and a Gibble. If only it was a Garchomp. I swear, if it was a Garchomp, that would have been great. But yeah, Mysterious Treasure is still a really nice card. Okay, on to Celestial Storm. And then it'll be Lost Turner, and then I'll end the video. Um, Celestial Storm, I feel like, never gives anything except... What did it give me? I don't even know if it's giving me anything. Maybe not. A, maybe just hollow. I think. What did I get out of here? I don't even know. Um, we got an Apricorn Maker. That's actually a decent uh, trainer. A Trico. Ooh, a Metacham. A rare Reverse. So this is our first Rare Reverse of today. Pretty nice one. Don't think I have this card, but pretty cool. Definitely love when you get a Rare Reverse out of a dollar pack. Or rares, because for that sake, for a dollar... It's definitely worth it. Plus, you never know. It's like a lottery. You have a chance to win big, but sometimes you don't win at all, and then you're sad. But you never know. You gotta try once at least. So try a couple times and see. But usually people always buy dollars to packs. It's, they're just fun to open. So we got a Gorbis, we got a Mudkip, and we got a Torchic. We got two, two starter Pokemon. That's interesting. From the Hoenn region, which is really cool. If only there was a Trico, too. That would have been really cool. Really cool to see. Alright. Throw that trash. Man, Dollar Packs, though, cause a lot of trash. Okay, we got a Darkness Energy. One of my favorite things. A C Dot and a Skitty. I do like Skitty. Um, I love cats. Um, so, Skitty makes sense. I like Skitty. It's a cat like thing. All right, oh, this is our last pack of um, Celestial Storm. So if we don't get anything in this, then that's it. Ooh, a Shrine of Punishment. That is a good card. A Ball Toy and a Beldum. So apparently, none of these are given us Ultra. We did get that Prism. So now it's down to Zero Aura to save the day. And if Zero Aura doesn't save the day, then it's up to Lugia. And if Lugia doesn't save the day, it's up to packs that we get tomorrow. Depending on what we open, I got certain like uh, boxes I want to open. Um, either one of the figure boxes or the beware, and then I'm done. Then I have nothing to open until my birthday. Wow, this Kecleon, what does it do? Unit color one. Okay, unit energy attached to it. It is either a fire or water or grass Pokemon. Wow, it can change its type if it has a unit energy on it. Wow, that's pretty actually really cool. So Kecleon, that's nice. We got Popolio and a Morlo. And this is Lost Thunder. I don't have that Kecleon, and I don't have Morlo. Probably, oh, I think I have. It, maybe not. Maybe my sister has it, and I think I have it. I don't really know. Okay, let's see what we get in this pack. Last Thunder is a really great set, so I don't really care what we get out of it. A lot of cards. 236 total. Oh, right, we got a Pupitar, a Larvitar. That's crazy. And a Litwick. So we did get a partial evolution there. 116 and 115. Interesting. All right, now it's down to the last pack which is a lost thunder pack i've had decent luck with this set i've only opened what like oh it's a green and white guys that means we have something in here hopefully an ultra rare i'm gonna do for the front i'm gonna say 
dark energy and it was fire because it is lit in here it yeah, very lit we got a pseudo wudo we got a counter gain a go go oh i could you imagine if there's an ultra in here we got a combi a marini a larvitar again because we got one already a slow poke we got a lolan diglet another slow poke oh and a shuckle gx let's go shuckle gx this is my first ultra from the set and it's beautiful a flipping full art shuckle gx Man, that's dope. And we got a slow poke. Because I'm slow at opening packs. But, oh, I got to sleeve this. Because I don't want to damage it. Man, this is my first GX from the set. Definitely Lugia save of the day. Last pack magic, guys. That is crazy. Last pack magic of the day. We got a Shuckle GX. That is really, really nice. I'm glad I picked this mini blister. Because he gave us a Shuckle GX. And as I said, guys, give him the code because um, that's what I do now. If I get a pull, you guys get a code. So here's a Lost Thunder code. I'm sure everyone will enjoy this code because it's the newest set. And it's Lost Thunder. Who would not like this set? Man, Lost Thunder has treated me well. At least the regular packs. I have a Giratina Hollow. Um, actually, I've only ever opened one pack. So this is my second pack. I have a Hollow Giratina. And now I have this. So that's two for two on Lost Thunder. Lost Thunder has not let me down, guys. What does this do? All right, Shuckle GX. He's got protective shells and ability. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from your opponent that has two or fewer energies attached to him. Oh, wow. That is really good. Because let's say... I don't know if I have it on me here. I'm going to look. I have a Salazzle GX. If I can find it. I know I have one. I'm going to look real quick. Oh, I found it. In my pile of ultra rares. Let's see here. So Slazzle, as you can see, only needs two energies to attack. All of its attacks are two energies. So this Shuckle, even though it's weak to fire, it'd probably die one hit because of 110 damage. Um, that's a bad example because, you know, Slazzle would kill it. But take something else, for example. Or it doesn't even have to be an ultra rare. It could be anything. As long as it's, you know has two energies or less that's pretty it's a pretty good ability honestly and it only costs one energy to attack it's got triple poison your opponent's next pokemon is now poisoned put three damage counters instead of one okay that's not that great but thing is they're poison and it's three damage per round so that's about 30 damage so 30 damage and like three rounds that'd only be 90 damage so that's not a lot of damage. Let's see what this GX is. WAP, or RAP. I was going to say WAP, like W-A-P, but it's W-R-A-P. So, RAP GX. Your opponent's like Pokemon is now paralyzed. And it does 40 damage. Okay, so this card doesn't really do a lot of damage. But it is a really nice card. And it's a basic, and it's Shuckle. I've never seen a Shuckle as an Ultra Rare. It probably has been. I don't know if it's been done in the past. Like, I've seen Shuckles, but I've never seen an Ultra Rare. So this is really cool. I mean, I knew this card existed in Lost Thunder. But I don't think they've ever made a Shuckle as an Ultra Rare before. From what I know. But yeah, this card, really, really cool. Sucks that it's weak to fire, though. Because obviously it's a grass type. Man, I love Full Art, so... Let's see, what kind of condition is it in? Wow, it's like... I almost meant there's maybe a Nick on this corner. That's about it, though. It's in really good shape. Honestly... I love this card a lot. My first ultra from the set. Alright, my thing is tipping. That is a-okay. I'll just hold it. But yeah, guys. Anyways, this is the end of my video here. And we also got that prism, which is not bad at all. So yeah. Anyways, guys. I hope you enjoy. Another video will be coming out tomorrow. And I will see you guys then. Alright. Goodbye.